I was just doing a uh, blog, whatever this is, video blog, on time, and uh, I'm talking about a photographer in my class who didn't, his issue was time. He was in his 70s, and he didn't think he had enough time. You know, he had so many things to do. And, but we went into a corporation. Nicole and I went into a small entrepreneurial endeavor, a marketing firm in Las Vegas, and I met with the entire crew and I said to the owner and this is I love going into entrepreneurial endeavors corporates are a little bit tough for me because one of the things I demand is honesty and a lot of times you get a lot of um, ass kicking kissing okay sorry there I said it but you know if the boss says if I say where's your communication on a scale from 1 to 10 and the boss says 8 everybody else goes yeah it's 80 it's 80, it's 80. unless somebody has a lot of courage and steps out of that Roll and says, uh, no, 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 we're really not at an eight, we're at a three. But that takes a lot of courage and doesn't happen very often. And we went into this entrepreneurial endeavor, and the owner had been to a class with me and came in and looked at what I was doing and really enjoyed it, said, will this work in my business? And we said, yeah, my wife, I love to go in and tag team with her because she just had, we have so much fun in a business. But I said with the crew, with her base crew, I went in and said, I need about two, two and a half hours with you this morning. They all laughed. And they said, we don't have that kind of time. And I said, well, it's mandatory. You've got to be here. Uh, and I went through basically what I, what I was going to go through on the day and what I wanted to know from them, what I wanted, wanted to create with them. And I went through the two operating systems, the pristine operating system and the antiquated operating system, and how as a team, if they were stuck in the antiquated operating system, was going to make them more uh, influenced to be pushed around. And if they could move out into the pristine or the fun operating system, it would also it would not only be more fun, and work would be more fun, but it would be more productive and they would get more done and not with pressure, which is what they were looking because it was a, it was a high pressure marketing job. And we talked and I spent time laughing at and with the, this firm. And there were uh, nine people, I think, in the room, very attentive. And when we walked out of the room, I was talking to the owner of the company. I said, okay, let's go do a debriefing. Look and see what worked and what didn't work during this meeting here. Then we'll meet with each employee. Now that they know who I am and what I'm about, we can meet with each employee and see what do they want for you. Okay, when I go into an entrepreneurial endeavor, I ask people, what do you want for the owner? Why? Because the owner's created a business that has created his job for them, right? Their job, if it's not fun, they should go find another job. And across the line, everybody said that they wanted for Karen to do more of what she wanted to do, which was travel and have fun. But as I was listening, I, we were walking out the door, and I was listening to a couple of the employees talk to one another, and one said to the other, my God, do you realize it's been two hours and 20 minutes since we started in there? We need to get, need to, get to work. But they were light in their spirits, light in their hearts, and they'd given me the amount of time that I asked for, and it was kind of... Time kind of transcends in what I do. Uh, it seems to go real quick and real slow, uh, but that's part of the business. Have fun, love you, and www.micpeakperformance.com.